I almost had to name this entire video. I failed my dining test. What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chanel and I am traveling through Thailand for the next one month. So if you want to see all of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join along. Today, we are in Koh Tao is one of the best places in Thailand to dive and for snorkeling activities because it's got some beautiful crystal clear waters as well as some amazing corals. So we are here with the LBD Diving Center. They invited us over and they wanted to give us an open water 20 training session, which is a four day training session. So let me take you on this experience here in Koh Tao with LBD. Starting off with our theory session. So Open Water 20, it's a diving course that it's going to certify you as diver. You will be able to dive all around the world and it doesn't matter what certification center you are diving with, even if it's PADI, SSI, RAY, whatever. So, let's start. You guys may have seen my earlier attempt at diving. I freaked out a little bit because it was a maybe like a two hour training and I went straight into the water and that can be frightening for some people, unlike Shehan who's like a fish in the water. So I feel a little bit more confident. I'm not as uh, panicked as I was before. And I think that's something important to share because I know most of you guys might also be like me who want to explore the deep blue ocean, but are a little bit scared. So let me take you on this experience. So our four days of training were split between theory and practicals to make sure that we have a very well-rounded experience before we hit the water. What makes this process even better is that you get to know the people you're diving with and make some friends over the next few days. If you too are really keen on following this diving course or any other diving experience with LBD in Kotao, make sure you stick until the end of the video. I've got a nice little discount code for you guys. So our first uh, theory session is done. We just met up. This is Louisa, by the way. She's also doing the course with us. Hello. What do you think of the course so far? Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of theory. We need. To, I need to go back and do a little bit more reading. You've already done all of the quizzes and all everything. Tests, yes. A level in every sense. <laughs> yeah. So a little bit of preparing to do. We're just grabbing a meal from a local restaurant here. Um, iced coffee, noodle soup, Ooh. banana shake. Banana shake, empty. <laughs> Rice soup, and your Shan is having a delicious looking red pad thai only in Koh Tao. Your first impressions of Koh Tao? Mm, at first, when I got off the ferry, I thought, wow, this is happening, so many people. But then, where I am right now, it's very quiet. Um, not many restaurants or many people open. Or But yeah, we're here to dive and we will explore the island a little bit. So keep you posted. Good morning, so it is day two of our four day course here in Koh Tao with LBD. Last night we spent the night writing quizzes and reading theory. So we're fully prepared and excited for today's session. Let's go get started. So guys, can I ask you all how you're feeling today? Actually, you're not. terrified. <laughs> no, 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 you're actually not. I'm not panicking. Yes, very good. Yeah, we're like... And uh, but I'm a little hungry. I think this is the main problem. Oh, okay. Good morning. <laughs> and what about you guys? I'm super excited. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. yeah. yeah. I got really into it because last night I was reading the theory and doing the quizzes. So I'm excited to do more of that today. We are ready, we are okay. We go down. Track here, up and Okay, so now we are done with our first theory session in the morning. We have about a 45 minute to a one hour break before we get in the pool. Shehan had vertigo just a week ago when we were in Koh Samui. So we had to check that off if you had any dizziness or any loss of balance on the medical um, form. 
So they're actually taking Shehan to the doctor right now. So they're going to check out if he's still clear to dive. So that's a really good thing here. And we're also kind of happy because we were a bit nervous about that as well. He really hopes he can dive though. So let's see how it goes. All right, we got the clear. Yay! We're good to go. <laughs> Okay, so this is the first uh, physical the first physical activity. We have to get in the pool, float for 10 minutes and swim 200 meters. So they've already started and I'm gonna follow suit. We just ran through some of the skills that we're going to practice underwater, over water. Um, there were quite a few of them, emergency ascent, Breathing, clearing your goggles, um, how to get your regulator or your emergency regulator, how to help somebody who can't breathe, um, lots of important stuff. We're going to be communicating and doing all of this underwater. So I'm excited to get in the water. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our pool session is complete and compared to how I was when I started, I'm feeling so much more confident and excited to hit the ocean tomorrow. I think we ran over everything that could possibly that we would possibly need to do, which is really great because now I know how to do everything I would want to do, like clearing my mask, um, emergency ascent, anything that could happen. Well, most of everything I think. I feel very confident about so ready to hit the ocean. Today I want to just tell you a little bit about where we are staying. We are staying at the Fisherman and this is actually a really really good option if you are planning on doing this course with LBD because of the fact that all of the theory sessions actually take place here and it's so much easier for us because we just wake up, poop, get ready and we just do a little walk and we're here at the place where we're doing the training. And it's actually uh, one of the more higher end um, places in this area from what I have seen. It's a very nice like individual cabana style room and they have food and drinks as well. But there's also quite a few restaurants around in the area as well if you want to eat from out. So it's very convenient because the pool that we trained in is right next door. The place we're going to take the boat from to go today for our first open sea session is also close by. It saves you a lot of hassle if you're planning on doing this course. But let me show you guys around a little bit. Okay guys, so today is the day that we get in the water. How does Woo! it feel? Scary. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Real talk, yeah. Super excited. Yeah. Yeah, me either. I'm also excited. I'm a little nervous. But I'm really excited to see all the wildlife. And do you feel like you're ready after food? I feel much more prepared and confident after yesterday. Alright, so the team did a good job. Kim did a great job. <laughs> okay, let's get started. I was feeling cool now and I'm feeling a little nervous again, but everybody else is making me feel better, so. Yeah, sure. I, I really like <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's good. We are walking to the small boat and we're going to be on the big boat which is going to take us probably with some other people as well or maybe not, maybe that's our boat. But yeah, that's the boat that we're going to be diving out of. This is a really beautiful place here in Kotao. It's like you're walking on water, that's what it looks like. It's glass. And great weather too, we got lucky I think. Where we're diving. 
so we are back from our second dive for the day the first one was uh, maybe about three feet under the water and just to refresh what we learned in the pool yesterday it is quite different because you had to work with the current and a lot of other things i found it really difficult to maintain my level have a neutral buoyancy i kept go either going up too much and i had to learn um, how to control my breathing so actually the first one was a bit of an unpleasant experience for me it wasn't as uh, fun because i was more focused on trying to breathe properly and do all of that but then once we came back onto the board we had some snacks and then we discussed what we could do better what i could do better added a weight and then we went back into the second dive which yeah. was maybe about 10 meters deep i definitely did better this time so i feel a lot better we actually dove and went and saw a lot of beautiful corals and beautiful fish and um, lots of other things so it was very successful and looking forward to tomorrow's dives now yeah i was pretty nervous earlier today and even on this dive when we were going down to like 10 meters and you couldn't see the bottom anymore when you looked out i was like uh can i do it um but i think once i was down there for like five minutes and i relaxed and then we got to see some cool stuff it was amazing and I'm very happy that at the second dive we actually got to see stuff yeah. underwater and yeah. could enjoy yeah. it yeah. Like because it was basically it went out an aquarium. Like yeah, it was exactly. So cool. Like the yellow fish. Today in the morning, I was so not confident. In fact, I was thinking. If I don't do this first dive and I do the second dive only once I get my nerves in order, does that mean I failed? And then I was thinking, oh my god, what about the video? I'm gonna have to tell everybody that I failed this course because I freaked out. It was so much better as soon as you get in the water and you start sinking in. I kind of just let it all become second nature, the actual breathing. And to be honest, that's when the dive really started for me. That's when I started enjoying it. I started looking around and appreciating just how how much beautiful coral and just the different varieties of fish that are there and to be honest I had so much fun like the most fun and it's incredible how each dive has been better than the one before can you believe it I almost had to name this entire video I failed my dining test. just imagine that but I took the risk for you guys Like we could still see the surface. I saw like a few eels, some clownfish. It was the best. Yeah. <laughs> no, but the wildlife, it's amazing to see all the fish. And especially when they come like, it feels like there's like a thousand of them. Yeah. It's just like surrounding you. It's so cool. So just click this sign on and it's gonna open a click, 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 click. Okay, you wanna be open water, 20 meters. I am certified! Yay! Thank you! It was amazing. So now just keep diving. Yes. Just the beginning. I will, I will. More diving. Separate channel on diving. Yes, with channel.
Alright guys, so we are at the end of our four day course. We are certified divers at this very moment. And before I tell you how I feel right now, I want to just tell you how I felt before I started this course. I don't know if you could tell through this video, I was terrified. So what I really want to highlight here is that even if you feel like you are afraid of the water maybe, that doesn't mean that um, scuba diving is something that you cannot do. I genuinely believe after completing this course that scuba diving is something that everyone can do. So I can't wait to explore uh, some of the amazing dive sites that are around the world to be honest. And I want to give a big shout out to LBD Kotao for that. This has been such an important experience for me. I will never forget this island and I will never forget the people who enabled me to do this. So thank you guys so much. Y'all are amazing. They have some of the best instructors and their equipment is on point. Everything is really organized and they will take you from step zero to 100 in the most perfect way. So if you want to do your diving course in Koh Tao, in Thailand, I highly recommend LBD. They will take really good care of you and ensure that you have the best experience. So if you do want to do that, make sure you check out the link in the description. There is a 10% discount waiting for you. And with that, we have come to the end of our diving vlog. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I inspired you guys to also maybe um, take up diving even if you are a little bit scared like I was before. Trust me, if I can do it, so can you. Scuba diving is not reserved for a certain type of people like I thought before. Uh, it is for everyone. You just need to be armed with the right knowledge and that's what the guys here at LBD did for me. So you can do it too. All right, that's it for this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye.